following, the universal laws of success, the principles of success, is what will change your life. As I said once and I'll say again, indecision is what leads to fear. Indecision is what leads to doubt. And indecision is what leads you to not achieving the life, the luxury, the freedom that you truly desire. So what does that mean? That means deciding leads to faith. Deciding leads to the abundance that you desire. Having a definite purpose leads to the abundance that you desire. Now what is one thing that comes out of having a definite purpose? What is one thing that comes out of deciding what it is that you're going after? You see, one thing that builds and one thing that develops inside of you is success consciousness. Many of us have failure consciousness. And what does this mean? Every time we go to do something, we think, oh, we're gonna fail. We think, oh, we can't be winning. We think, oh, if we're succeeding, then there's gonna fail eventually. It's too good to be true. No, it's time for you to build success consciousness. Success consciousness is you knowing that you are going to succeed in every single thing that you do. You knowing that the success is inevitable. And when you know this, when you continue to move forward knowing that success is the only thing that's possible, that is the only thing that becomes possible. You do not let doubt hold you back. You do not let fear hold you back. You act in accordance to the ways that you want to act and the universal laws say and present and will work in your favor in order for you to achieve success. One man by the name of Walter P. Chrysler. This story is from Napoleon Hill. One man by the name of Walter P. Chrysler decided to spend all of his money on buying a car. He then took that car to his garage and he took it apart. Everyone thought he was crazy. He took it apart. Then he put it back together. Then he took it apart again. Then he put it back together. And guess what? He changed the automotive industry. And the only reason why he spent all of his money on a car and took it apart and put it back together is because he was success conscious. He knew that the only thing he could get out of that was success. Now, if he believed that he was capable of failing, he would have never have done that. And that's the reason why a lot of us don't do the things that we know we should be doing, that we truly desire to do, is because we are thinking of failing. Failure, failure, failures, which running out throughout our subconscious mind. And as soon as you become success conscious, your life will begin to change. As soon as you start to follow the universal laws and the principles of success, your life will begin to change and it will change forever. But you need to decide, you need to commit, and you need to decide that you are worthy of achieving the success that you truly desire. Commit to your success, become success conscious, and only succeed. I am George Wohart, the Millennial Mindset Mentor. Ah!